travellers have been flocking to the call of the Romantic Rhine for 200 years. Castles, ruins and palaces overlook the river from slate cliffs. Wine-growing villages line its banks. This cultural and natural landscape was made a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2002. In the Middle Ages, Bacharach, with buildings more than 500 years old, was the most important reloading point for wine in the Middle Rhine Valley. Many of the castles are now used as hotels, like Schönburg near Oberwiesel. Within its medieval walls, guests find modern comforts. The highlight of a trip on the Rhine is near St. Goershausen, the narrowest part of the river, the rock known as the Lorelei. We're on the Rhine. And what did Heine write so much about? The Rhine. It goes like this. The song of the Lorelei is said to have so bewitched boatmen that they crashed their vessels on the rocks. The upper Middle Rhine Valley ends in Koblenz. We leave the ship at the Deutsches Eck, or German Corner, where the Moselle flows into the Rhine. Now we follow the curves of the Moselle on bicycles. On the 250-some kilometers of the Moselle cycle route, getting there is half the fun. What an incredible setting here. The vineyards on the left going way up there. Mainly Riesling grapes are cultivated on the steep terraces bordering the Lower Moselle. The vines were brought here 2,000 years ago by the Roman conquerors. In Trier, findings in the State Museum bear witness to their artistic sensitivity and way of life. The tomb of a Roman wine trader gives you an idea of how highly prized Moselle wine was even back then. You can charter a replica of an ancient ship, including wine tasting, for a trip on the river. Well, I sure didn't expect the Mosel area to be like this. It's so green and vast, and, and there's so much to see all along the way in the bike trail. It's just fantastic. To the right and left of the river lie numerous traditional wine-growing towns, such as Bernkastel Kuss. Among its half-timbered houses, the best known is the narrow Spitzhäuschen, or pointed house. In Traben Trabach, an old city gate welcomes cyclists. Wine festivals are celebrated all year long on the Moselle. And on a bicycling tour, you can see how the current vintage is coming along. We say goodbye to the Moselle Valley and go aboard an Elbe pedal wheeler near Dresden. On the banks of the Elbe, the crags of what's known as Saxon Switzerland are the attraction. Tourists from all over the world arrive there on the world's oldest paddle steamer fleet. In the middle of Neuraten Castle, a bridge was built especially for tourists in 1826, linking the crags of the Bastion Rock Formation. The bizarre formations of Elba sandstone are an invitation no rock climber could ever refuse. Sandstone was once taken from this region by ship over the Elba to Dresden, where it still gives a golden glow to the Baroque cityscape. <laughs> 